I came with Autofix Pal. Today we're working on a 2005 Toyota Corolla. This is my co-worker's Pete's car. That guy right there you see in the video on my right side. Well, he was driving home last night, Friday, Friday evening, and his car died on him when he took a turn. That's what he told me. So, um, we had his car in the shop a few weeks ago, and he had a PO171, which is a lean DTC for his check engine light. We never got around to diagnosing it. I guess he didn't really care about it because it only ran bad that one time and it only threw the cold the one time. So he said, F it. Well, Friday's car died and well, we got it into the shop. We suspected that there might be a problem with the fuel supply because of the previous PO171 lean condition code. And um, that's what we're doing right now. We're checking to see if we have a fuel supply. So a gasoline combustion engine or any combustion engine for that matter requires three things three things to work air fuel and ignition um, We suspect that we have a fuel supply issue So what we're doing right now is spraying our own fuel supply, which is the can of brake cleaner Brake cleaner works as a good fuel supply just for our testing purposes And if the car starts up with the can of brake cleaner being sprayed directly into the intake manifold Then we know we're missing our fuel supply If it doesn't start then we're missing something else which would probably be spark and or ear And it didn't start so the next step for me would be to check for DTCs So that's what we're going to do next we're going to pull out a little scanner We're going to pull out the little cheap handheld um, Harbor Freight cold reader and see if we got any DTCs stored in there That'll give us any information. That's what you see Pete doing right now with the little scanner in his hand, with the little code reader in his hand. He's going to check for DTCs. Well, unfortunately, when Pete came back to me, he said the thing isn't working. So I went in and checked for myself, and sure enough, it's not working. It's not reading any DTCs. Now, I also noticed when we were cranking his vehicle is that his check engine light did not work. When you turn the key to the one position, you should have the check engine light light up along with a few other lights on your dashboard as sort of a bulb check to make sure that everything is functioning properly or somewhat properly anyway. But um, his check engine light was not lighting up and this tells me that he's probably not getting power or something is wrong with the communication to his ECM. He's probably not getting power or it's probably not getting ground. So the next thing I tried to do was go to BBB Industries and pull up a wiring diagram but for some reason today of all times um, it wasn't working I kept getting a 500 internal server error when I tried to go to the website so I skipped the wiring diagram because I don't have any information on this vehicle I just started checking fuses power supply fuses because no communication no bulb check for the check engine light is probably missing a power supply somewhere to the ECM and it died suddenly while he was driving we probably have a short somewhere and sure enough, we had a blown fuse for the ECTS. So we put a breaker in there. I put the fuse saver. I think it was a 20 amp fuse saver in place of the fuse so that we wouldn't be burning through fuses before we found the short circuit. So I put the breaker in there. The check engine light did come on and the car did start. So I leaned on the engine um, just to poke around and see if I see anything obvious. And the car stalled. That's a good thing. That's awesome. That means we're getting somewhere. And it blew a fuse. It didn't blow that same fuse. For some reason, it blew a different fuse. It blew um, an EFI fuse. So, I put another, um, what you call it, fuse saver. I put another fuse saver, circuit breaker, onto that fuse. And we got the car running again. So, this time I jiggled the harness. And sure enough, it stalled again. We're getting close. What we got? Yeah. What year is your car, Pete? Oh, communication with the scan tool, no diagram because BB Industries isn't working right now for some reason. But being that we had no communication with the computer, um, hold on. Being that we had no communication with the computer, I suspected we probably had a power supply issue to the computer. And sure enough, we had two blown fuses. Which fuses was it? Where's your fuse box cover, Pete? Right here. five fuse bone this one here and that one the 
TCS fuse was blown. So I hooked up my little breakers, circuit breakers, right? Yes. Yeah. A few circuit breakers and then start jiggling the wire harness and see if, if we can get the car to stall out. And sure enough, we got it to stall out and we found the wires. It's probably the heater circuit for perfect. Thank you, Pete. These two wires here, you can see they're chewed up because they've been rubbing up against a bolt that's on the side of the, um, the head there. Right there. Perfect. See if you got some power there. The key is off though, right? Yeah. Yeah, you ain't gonna have any power right there. But those two black wires are probably the heater circuit. Usually the heater circuit, they use the same color wires for the heater circuit. So those are probably the heater circuit wires for the air fuel ratio sensor. Yeah, that's the air fuel ratio sensor. So we gotta do a wire repair on those two wires and we should be good to go. After we um after we remove that short, put those breakers in, the car started right up. And um he can drive his car home now tonight instead of taking an Uber. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am, man. But you do got to find a, a cap for your brake fluid reservoir. You can't drive around like that. All right, so we, um, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? <laughs> All right, but um, we literally had Pete's car up and running in probably like 15 to 20 minutes, just using all of the clues that the car left for us. The fact that we had um, no check engine light when we did the bulk check, the check engine light wasn't there. And um, the fact that we had no communication with any scan tool and we had no start. Those are the three clues that the car left for us. Blown fuses, two blown fuses. Well, one blown fuse and then we blew the other fuse trying to get it going, trying to find the short circuit. But anyway, the car left us some clues. We figured it out without the wiring diagram. We had no communication. We figured it out without any communication with the scan tool. And um, yeah, so that's it, man. Thanks for watching. I came with Auto Fix Pal. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Peace. And hit the bell for notifications so you get um, notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to do that. All right? Peace.